Well, it's Ollie here from New South, mate. Um, congratulations uh, on potential debut. First of all, um, just talk through your kind of feeling when Aussie let you know you were in the 23 and, and your excitement or, or potential nerves uh, about your debut. Yeah, I think excitement's probably a pretty good word to use. Um, you know, it's been nice being in the in camp for the last few weeks and just soaking up as much as I can in this environment, but obviously a bit of a different edge this week, being named in the 23 for the first time. So, um, yeah, I'm sure there'll be a few nerves there come come Saturday night, but yeah, at the moment, just really pumped to, to be able to get out there and hopefully get an opportunity out on the field. Your name's been kind of talked about so regularly through Super Rugby LTR and also, you know, a bit of Super Rugby over the last couple of years. How do you best go about uh, transferring that form that you've been able to show for the Crusaders through Super Rugby onto the test arena? Yeah, I think a pretty key message that's been relayed to all the new boys really is just trusting what's what's got you here. So, um, yeah, won't be looking to change uh, too much on the weekend. Just try really nail my role, and um, I think if I do that, then that'll lead to good opportunities. So, yeah, no, nothing really changes too much for me, I don't think. But obviously, it is a bit of a step up. So, um, yeah, looking forward to getting stuck into that. Sebo, it's Guy here from uh, One News. You were just laughing or smiled a little bit when Ollie said that Will had been someone who had been talked about being in the All Blacks for some time. Would he have been in your All Blacks side? Sorry, say that again? <laughs> I was just saying you were you were cracking up when Ollie was saying that uh, everyone was talking about Will. Um, he obviously would have been in your All Blacks side, judging by how good he is and how much he's played. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, me personally, I'm, you know, super excited for, um, you know, for Will, um, you know, playing with him um, down in Christchurch and, you know, seeing what he could do and, um, yeah, and I just super pumped um, for Will. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Joe Porter here from RNZ, mate, how are you? Uh, I've seen a few clips of you obviously bringing uh, some height and some energy to the team around camp. Now you get to, I guess, put that out on the field. You must be pretty excited, your first test for 2020. And uh, I guess how do you balance wanting to make an impact and, and prove your worth to the team without sort of, you know, I guess, overthinking things and, and trying too hard? Um, yeah, you know, like you said, you know, not trying to do too much. Um, you know, like I'm super pumped and excited to go out there, but... You know, I just need to find the balance between that and um, you're just nailing my role and um, yeah, hopefully things go good. And, and have you ever sort of played, I guess you've played alongside Jordy in the All Blacks before, but have you ever played outside him when he's been at fullback? And are you looking forward to, I guess, developing that combination and seeing how the big man goes at number 15? Yeah, um, <clears throat> as, we, yeah you know, as we've all seen, you know, he played... Um, you know, fullback most um, Super Rugby Aotearoa this year, and um, you know we know what he could do too as well. So it's just um, you know yeah, feeding off him, and you know just let him do his thing, and then hopefully he gets to pass the ball to me, and yeah, we could share something special maybe. Hey, Sevu, Mark Hinton here from Stuff. Uh, congrats on your selection. Can you just what? What's it been like watching the All Blacks, especially these last two tests, playing as well as they have? Um, look, you look like you enjoyed yourself the other night. Um, and also with that, I guess kind of having your crack this week on the back of what, what the team's been able to do the last two blitters lows. Any pressure? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, like again, um, you know, the, the team has been playing really well for the past three weeks, I guess. And, you know, now getting opportunity it's you know having to carry on from where, where they left off um last week and and yeah um super excited as you saw me last week jumping on all the big boys all the props um yeah got you know the cow um offer it was good to give them a few cuddles and yeah uh, well uh, after the impact that Caden Clark made off the bench in that first test, but especially in his starting debut at Eden Park, uh, I guess are you feeling any pressure to uh, imitate or replicate that kind of uh, impact on Test rugby? Um, yeah, he had a pretty positive start, didn't he? And um, Caleb and I are probably pretty different players, to be fair. He's probably got a 
a bit more power behind him and a bit more of a sort of destructive runner, I guess. So, um, no, I guess not really too much pressure in terms of um, comparing myself to others, but I guess any time you're with the All Blacks jersey, there's a little bit of pressure there. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping to play well, but, um, yeah, I won't be trying to sort of one-up Caleb or anything like that, no. Yeah, nah, he actually told me just before we uh, walked into the room that first ball he's going to catch, he's running it straight. There's no <laughs> sidestep, he's going straight. Hey, Joel. Yeah, well, certainly. Well, what's, what's it going to be like for your family back home, I guess, watching you make your All Blacks debut, hopefully on the, on the weekend, uh, a special moment for them and something that they've been looking forward to, no doubt, for, for some time? Yeah, I think they'll be they'll be pretty pumped to be fair and probably be a bit nervous. Um, I don't know for the first sixty or seventy minutes, I guess, if I'm on the bench. But um, yeah, they'll probably be a little bit gutted that they couldn't come over um, and watch it in person with the COVID restrictions and stuff. But uh, yeah, the family's been a huge um, support net- network for me and really lucky to have them. So um, yeah, hope to go after them proud on the weekend. And I guess how do you approach the? Um, and Stephen, you've probably got a little bit more knowledge of this or experience at least. How does the uh, traveling on game day make things different for you? Do you try and catch a few winks on the plane how does it just change your game day preparation and your normal processes you'd go through um yeah i guess it's a bit of a spanner in the works this week with um sort of flying in and out on game day but um yeah we just talked about this week just having a really good plan around um how that works and having a little bit of extra time on the ground and things like that around how you can fill in your time so um i think yeah once once you've addressed that and made a good plan it makes it a lot easier to uh, work through it Oh, hi, it's Mel Woods here um, I'm hey, Mel. from AAP in Melbourne. Um, I just wondered sort of what your thoughts were on the Wallabies back three. Obviously, they've got um, a debutante themselves coming in there with Tom Wright. Have you, both of you had much experience, I guess, playing against, um, you know, some of those fellas and, yeah, what do you make of them? Um, yeah, I think, um, you know, he had a pretty good Super Rugby um, AU from, from what I saw. Um and obviously, yeah, um, he gets he gets opportunity this week, so I'm um, sure like the the boys making their debut for the All Blacks will be hugely excited. And um, yeah, I know the Wallabies team as a whole will be really pumped to get out there and put a good performance on their home patch. So um, yeah, I think any time you can bring in some fresh faces in the group, it'll bring a bit of extra energy, and I'm sure that's what he'll be looking to do. Last question, team. Steve, it's uh, Greg from Moyden. Um, there's quite a lot of utility value in the back three in competition. Has there ever been any desire of yours to sort of play any other position other than the wing? You know, are you been asked to try and learn any other position? Uh, yeah, yeah, so this week I've been practicing my throws. So I might be uh, yeah, backup number two, maybe. <laughs> but who knows? Well, the Wallabies could use one. Yeah. <laughs> nah, um, nah I, like, you know, I, you know, for me personally, I guess, you know, that's the. You know, the good thing about, you know, having such a big depth in, you know, New Zealand rugby in itself is that, you know, you you know, you have the likes of, you know, Will Jordan, you've got Rico, Caleb Clark, you know, George Bridge, um, yeah, Geordie Barrett and, and yeah, it's just, you know, every week we, we go out there and train, you know, starting on Monday, it's just, you know, putting your best foot forward and um yeah, and it all comes down to yeah, I guess the coaches pretty much. But but yeah, no, it's it's really good. Keeps everyone on their toes, and um, yeah, it just makes you train even harder, I guess. We have seen you train a bit at thirteen for the Crusaders this year. Do you think there's any chance Fozzie might throw you in there this week? Yeah, or? no, I've been having a few words with Fozzie, but yeah, hopefully, maybe. Thank you. Just thank you, Greg. Just Dutch. Will, just, uh, we'll wrap it up after you, Ollie. Yeah, cool, mate. Um, so, Will, I wonder, you know, being like a, a young guy coming into your first all-back environment, has it almost been beneficial in a way just being able to kind of be around the team and get used to the all-black environment without the pressures of having to make your test debut just to get used to that environment the first couple of weeks? Um, yeah, I guess that has been a little bit a little bit helpful. I think um, your first couple of weeks in the environment, you're definitely on edge a bit and... Um, yeah, you do feel that pressure and I guess as the weeks have gone on I've started to feel more and more comfortable and getting to know guys from other franchises and just being able to learn off them has um, been massive for me and, and feeling comfortable here so yeah I guess it does maybe help a little bit having had a few weeks um, yeah just sort of behind the scenes chipping away and um, yeah definitely feel ready now to take my opportunity.